Hey, how you going guys? It's Derek from 4x4 Adventure Western Australia. This channel is all about weekend adventures, camping, four-wheel driving, anything that is four-wheel drive related. Stay tuned, I'd like, to, I'd like you to subscribe and follow the link in the description. We opt to take on an adventure in the southwest WA. We started driving in late afternoon. At the time we reached Brunswick Junction, it was already dark. You have no idea what happened that night. The first campsite that we encountered was occupied. Following Captain Luke's direction, we had to enter Brunswick track to search for a second campsite. To do that, we had to climb a technical hill. Unfortunately, that footage was not recorded, but it was quite surprising because we didn't expect how rutted the hill was. And then in the next day, we found out that's only the entree of the trip. Our adventure begins here. In the morning, we all pack up quickly, and then we are ready to hit the road. Soon after we left the campsite, we come across this minigun shot. Hey, check out Luke's yeah, superior yeah. coordination of the clutch and brake. The car rolls yeah, down nice and coming, smoothly yeah, with right. superior control. Nice drive, mate. Oh, that's f***ing scary. You're all good, you're all good. Now it is my turn. It is my first time to attempt a minigun shot like this. Here I have applied a technique called left foot braking. That means you draw, apply your brake to control the car's speed while you keep your accelerator yeah. on so the car doesn't stop. Yeah, it wasn't a bad drive, was it? And then we encountered the major obstacle in Brunswick track. That is, to descend to a track that has a few rocks as diff bangers, crossing a river, and then send your car up the rutter climb. Yep. The first yep. challenger is Luke's mate, yep, right. who owns an 80 series Land Cruiser. It is a solid axle vehicle, which articulates pretty well through the obstacles. Together with this nice ground clearance, it just walks through this challenge fairly right. easily. That way. Right. Let's hand down, let's hand down. Try. Next one coming up is Luke. That way a little bit. He owns an MN Triton. Now this Triton has got a nice You're traction right? control, which transmits power to the right tire, and that Real traction bit. allows yeah. him to keep going forward without any like issues. That. Together with this newly installed KM3, yeah. this Triton will not lose any traction. Straighten up first, yeah. Keep going. All right, your rear is going on on there. Yeah, good. Beautiful. Alright, this one. Yep. Hey. Now it is yep, my right turn. Yep, I have an MQ on. Triton that has got a front auto lock Let's installed. Whenever I engage four wheel drive, the front axle will be locked automatically itself. Which means, whenever I have a wheel lift in rough four-wheel driving, yep. I can ensure there will be traction the in off. the tyres that is on the ground. Yep, now draw
Yeah, nicely done. Good on you, Derek. Good job, After finishing the hill climb, we've decided to have some fun in the, in the mud pan. We recovered Luke's mate for a few times, enjoyed the scenery, having a few little lifts, having some good old chair, and then we managed to maneuver us around the Brunswick track. Eventually, we reached Harvey. Welcome to Harvey Dam. Harvey Dam is a wonderful relaxation spot. We sat under the awning for an hour and a half, and then we've decided to hit the road. RV Dam is a four-wheel drive paradise because it has so many technical hills to climb. We have visited the famous Harvey Hill Climb and that hill doesn't look much at the moment but when it comes in winter wet weather it will become a hundred times more difficult to climb. This is another steep hill climb that we have attempted. Luke is not mucking around, he's holding his right foot steady. Even a wheel lift didn't stop him when traction control kicks in. Trent experienced a few hiccups in this hill climb because his car is not equipped with any traction system. However, with a bit of repositioning, a bit of right foot and the flex of the AT series, he made through this climb easy. Now it is my turn, I've seen how that was done and I've opted to take a slightly different approach. I took a different line and I managed to keep all wheels on the ground. After that, we went back to our sport and set up camp. And now you tell me, what could be better than spending time with your mates, making a few jokes, talking about life and listening to music. We talk about the driving that we did and our favorite moments that we had. And I'm sure all of us are proud of ourselves without causing any damage to the car. I'm going to show you how, how, how many seconds or how, how long it takes to set this tent up. Now there you have it, the tent took me around 5, five minutes 14 to, to be erected um, and that was, that was that's the second time I, I, uh, I set up this tent, I was a little bit not familiar with it and I reckon it should take around 5 minutes or even less if, if I become familiar with it, familiar with it. Looks pretty good, fast yeah. setup. And the pack-up was also quite easy as well.
Hey, how you going guys? So I'm going to give you the first impression of this tent. Uh, as you know, I've taken off the rooftop tent earlier and I've moved down, uh, I've downgraded myself to a swag. But this one is actually called Cam Ride. Uh, caught something like that. It's a swear that lifts off the ground and it's a really fast setup and vast pickup as well. And I'm actually very impressed. I was sleeping for a night. Uh, just to let you have a look. This is basically how it looks like. And I'm really impressed. I would say I'm really impressed. Uh, I had the most comfortable sleep. Uh, in in the campsite ever, uh, given that I, I have to use my own obviously Avenger King, Avenger King's um, self-inflating mattress, and uh, that it, that gives me an extra comfort. Uh, but I slept so well last night. Good morning, that's the last day of, uh, of our camping trip and we at the moment in Harvey Dam, everyone has done, uh, ha everyone has done packing including myself and um, Trans discovered a flat tire, we fixed it already so I'm sure today will be good. There you go guys, this is Waruna, Waruna Dam. Yes. Is it Waruna Dam? That's it. It's a beautiful place in here. Uh, so what we're going to do now We'll explore the tracks around Waruna. Apparently, Luke says it's got heaps of mud in there. Yeah, it should be some mud in there. So, right? yeah. yeah. Are we expecting any soft stuff or just um, technical? Yeah, probably, probably some soft mud, hopefully. If yeah. There's some over there. Um, <laughs> hopefully. It's mostly just some good hopefully. technical driving, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Sounds good. So, we'll just basically um, drive around this. Is it a lake? That's it, yeah. It's a lake, right? Yeah. yeah it's a dam. It's a dam, yeah, yeah sorry. Or, or like, or like Navarino. Yeah, okay, okay. So let's drive around this lake or dam. Uh, we'll, we'll just go to the opposite side and uh, exit on the other side. So we follow the tracks around Lake Navarino and then we come across a series of serious technical driving. Luke has opted to take an easy line. He you knows this track is not the one to muck around with. He positioned the car very carefully and then it made all the way to the top. One thing I should mention as well, mate, your car sounded very well. Good job, mate. Trent's Land Cruiser has an advantage of flex and ground clearance. It yeah, adds a lot more fun to the whole driving experience. It's amazing to see how the suspension articulates. Attempt to find traction on the ground and keep going forward. My car has an advantage of a front auto locker. In this challenge, I've opted to take a more difficult line. And yes, maybe next time I should strap down my interior cargo before I go for rough off-road driving. Wow! Now I go back a little bit. No, oh yeah. Now I go back. Yep, straight. Straight, straight, left hand down, left hand down, straight, straight, left hand down, right hand down, right hand down, right hand down. Yep, good, good, good. Comment down below, how good. many wheel lifts have I done in this challenge? That thing's a weapon. Holy crap. Oh yeah, shit, yeah. 
Look at the tire go, won't it? Uh, I think you need more traction on the right. Yeah. So you need to uh, right hand down a little bit when you send. Okay. Try to get up that point yeah. and you'll get more traction. Okay. All right? So after that technical hill climb, guess what? More technical driving. That's pretty cute. Fuck off with your self control bullshit. <laughs> At the moment, the uh, Edge Series Land Cruiser is having a, having a bit of situation at the moment. Lots of traction. And um, if he reverses, the car will just roll. So we're taking this very seriously. Lou has used a dampener, the winch dampener, um, or damper, sorry. I feel it with some dirt on the, on, on the winch. So should anything break, uh, that will just get, get uh, that will just, anything will just get pulled down at a spot. Right, winch begins. Okay, hold, hold, wait. Okay, bring some tension, Derek, and start driving, Trent. Yep, tension, tension, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Brakes, Trent, brakes. Tension, Derek, tension. Okay, pull, pull. Let off Trent, go. Drive it, Trent, drive it, drive it. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Keep driving. Okay, stop there, Trent. Brakes, brakes. Going out forward driving doesn't only allow you to have fun. Through the process, you get to rely on your friends. It develops trust between your mates and brings the friendship to a different level. All right, guys, there you have it. Maruna Dam, Harvey Dam, and Brunswick Junction. How good, how good was it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic, really. Wow, wow. That, there's only one word to describe. Wow. It is, yeah. It's Far out. Uh, couldn't do anything like this in Albany. No, no, so, it's pretty different than Albany. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty more, hilly in here. Yeah, exactly. Lots yeah. of technical driving. Yep. It was absolutely fantastic. Yes. What's your favourite moment? Um, I think here actually. Um, doing the winching. Um, which uh, yeah. you see the video there and. Um, oh yes, you've, you've done an excellent job. Yeah, winching there and just guiding up and um, I think that was my favourite favourite part. It's yeah. always fun doing a good, doing a good recovery and when it yeah. works well, it always. Um, yeah, it's pretty satis good. yes, satisfaction. It is, yeah. yes, that's it. Yeah, my favorite moment was the night we enter Brunswick Junction campsite. Yes, we yes. couldn't find a nice campsite at the start, but we were forced to yes. to enter some hard tracks before, yeah, before we get... Yeah, 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 it was all sudden, unexpected. Uh, we didn't film that, unfortunately, but um, the, the way I, the, I saw how the way how Luke's Tritons work, mm. Tritons position, yeah. left and right, and the whole car just... Jumps yeah, around. Yeah, oh, jeez. 
Yeah, that was totally unexpected. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you're Triton. Uh, I'm very impressed. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, me yeah. too, me too. Traction I mean, control. Oh, yeah. That was, oh, it was just... It's unreal. Uh, yeah, it's I've only had the car, you know, not long and... Uh, yeah. I've been through a lot of cars and yeah. lots of solid axles and um, coils yeah. and um, that just impressed me what it could do. I yeah. what it could do. What it did, really did. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, the front lock in my car is just um, unreal. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's unreal. Yeah, it, it, it makes the whole driving a lot safer, a lot does, smoother yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, although it makes things a lot easier. Yeah. But uh, I reckon safety is, safety all comes first. Oh, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. What about you, Trent? What's your favorite moment? Oh well, the whole weekend was like bloody good, but I'd say <laughs> the best part about it would be going for a swim. Yeah. 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 Lovely water. Really, good, really good, good, good. All right, that is it. It's a wonderful day today, mm-hmm. and uh, we are close to Christmas as well. So, yeah. wish you all Merry Christmas, and um, soon Happy New Year too. That's it. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the contents that I create, please subscribe and follow the link in the description. I'll see you next time.